Nathan, good afternoon's work at Berkhamster just 24 days after last season finished. Yeah, look, it's been a quick turnaround really. The lads have done, done brilliant. They've been away uh, about two, two weeks, two full weeks off. We've had four days training, so it was a nice test for us today and uh, to come somewhere local as, as well was, was excellent. And they, they, were, they were brilliant in terms of our intensity and the way we moved the ball and, and things. And uh, I said, it's, it's a nice game for us to start with. I suppose after the uh, oven like temperatures we've had this week, it was nice to get a bit of rain today as well, wasn't it? Well, it's been, yeah, it's been weird. I mean, uh, it's actually warmer up north. But apparently, my wife's family is warmer up north than it is down here at the minute, which is strange. But yeah, but look, it's, it's nice in pre-season because normally, especially when you come to, to, to some some grounds, it, it's very difficult for them to get the level of water on, and it's you know, hard pitches, and it's very difficult. But obviously, the, I think it's done the game a real good favour. It was a good footballing game today, and I think the pitch was in good condition because of the weather. So we, we praise the Lord, we had a bit of that. Yeah. Always nice to get a few goals and uh, I suppose the two strikers, we always talk about Danny and uh, yeah. James, but uh, both got a hat-trick to get off the mark. Yeah, look, it, that, they're both excellent and, and it's praise for Harry Cornick as well, who, to be fair, has, has set I think, three up for James, but I thought they were excellent. For our intensity, the work rate, the attitude and how we handled the ball, I was I was so, so happy for them. And, and it just, it's, they're difficult games because you never know how 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 they're going to go, and if you don't do it right, you can get caught and, and so on. But we were we were very good, and I, I'm, I'm pleased. And they've, they've come back in good good spirits. They've come back in good shape. And I said it's only the first game, so we've got another another month before we we are uh, where we need to be. And uh, as I said, it was good, and it's good for Union to get get some minutes as well. You know. Yeah, you led me into that. Union O'Kane, okay, Brendan O'Gall, uh, Brendan O'Galloway, yeah. Brendan Galloway. Uh, coming on, getting important minutes after a serious injury. I think it's 23 months to the day that Union suffered his broken leg, so right. almost okay. two years since he last played. Yeah, real shame because he's a wonderful, wonderful footballer. We had massive, massive hopes for him and, 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 and look, he got injured. So look, it's great to see him back. He's, he's a little way off it in terms of uh, the intensity levels he needs and the strength and the mobility and stuff, but it was nice to see him get, get, get minutes and look, his, his range of passing, the radar he has is, is quite frightening. Set Harry up for two great balls and Harry then did set, set James up. So it's that, to have that creativity is, is, is massive and uh, I thought it was excellent. And um, the three youngsters coming on at the end, uh, obviously Jake Peck, Sam Beckwith and 16-year-old Terrell Newton showed a couple of only on for a couple of minutes, but he got a couple of good touches in there, didn't he? Yeah, well, I literally weren't too happy that uh, I, I, I changed him and gave him a couple of minutes, so I, I'm glad he did do something. But no, and, and look, Avon Jones as well yeah. um, uh, was, was 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 very good. I'm really sort of happy, been, been interested in, in looking at him this week and, and, and so on, so very, very pleased. And I should mention Josh Nerfield. Yeah. Setting the ball rolling with a great goal in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, look, that's sometimes the hardest thing when you have these games is they were very organised and, and it's difficult to break them down. So you need the goal and once you've got the goal, it tends to fill us with a bit of confidence and, and we played with that freedom after that. So it was, it was a real good workout, no injuries, which is the best thing um, and, a, and a proper, proper workout. So we're very happy. And uh, after the first week of training, just to conclude, you know, you've... You've got them all back in. It's a bit of a different pre-season because obviously it's such a quick turnaround, so they've not lost much no. fitness, have they? So yeah. I suppose you, your plans are a little bit different to what they'd normally be. Yeah, and look, and we would probably get towards the end of you know, the, the, the last campaign, we were probably gathering a bit of momentum and, uh, and stuff. I think we had picked up 11 points in the last five games and, and it was, it lost, yeah, I think it's something like that. So it was, um, it, it, it was strange really for us to, um, to then uh, have the sort of the, the, the breaks put on us. We've got to have that break, and, and then we're coming back. So they, they're not too far um, deconditioned. But but look, we've got another month now to sharpen them right up, and then they go into the season, which well, probably three weeks because this Carabao Cup is, is, is not. So no, they, look, they're in good shape. Um, as I said, the break might come at the wrong time, but no, it's good because we achieved what we wanted to, and now we can build. Yeah, and um, finally, word for Burkhamster, the you know. Been great host today. Yeah. Chris Devane, the manager, is a Luton season ticket holder since he was 13, I think. So uh, we wish them well for the season, don't we? Yeah, and we do. And look, it was very unfortunate last year. They, 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 you know, they should have been promoted. Uh, you know, my, my memory serves me right. And, and I said, a lovely horse, real good club, friendly club. And, and look, the fact he's a Luton, I'm just glad that he's. Uh, uh, he was happy the, the, to see me, so uh, it's always a gauge these days. But now, nah, look, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was it, it really looked after us here. A lot of Luton fans, and it's been good. And that's why it's good to come to these places because they get to see what we do as well. And uh, it, and it's not just you know 
well, we see on a Saturday. They get to see a little bit more in these pre-season games, and it's been great coming here. Lovely club, and uh, we're off to have a sausage roll because apparently the sausage rolls are good here. <laughs> Very good. Everyone at half time. All right, nice well, one. Well done, Nathan. Cheers. Thank you.